All right, Bevel, it's not basically saying that, you know, Canelo's not a priority right now. His priority is to take on uh, Arthur Better Bia, but not Canelo Alvarez. Now, it could be a negotiation tactic to get a better person. I know last time he got a $5 million person. I assume he got his money. Remember, they was holding his money because of the Russian sanction and the war. Now, Klitschko's, I just was kind of reading a little bit. They were complaining that. Uh, some of those, some of the sanction developed bodies are lifting a sanction on Russian fighters. So at the end of the day, I'm not sure exactly, you know, I know the war still going on. You heard, I think I heard a report that, you know, Russia allegedly or reportedly could be losing like 500 soldiers a day and all this type of stuff. So, I mean, obviously the United States is giving more money to, uh, they're giving more money to, uh, to Ukraine and people got an issue with it and all that, man. You know, so be it. It is what it is. It's life. Um, but uh, but moving on, you see Dimitri Bivol focusing on better BF and not the Canelo rematch in 2023. He basically said, he says, I want to be undisputed. That's my goal. Bivol could team. My party is to fight for another belt, said Bivol. He said, of course. It's a great fight. We'd like to fight for his belts. And I know he wants to fight too. It'll be a great fight. He's a tough opponent, said Bevo. It just looks easy, but it was hard, said Bevo about Gilberto Ramirez. Assuming Bevo defeats a uh, better BF, he can go after the winner of Caleb Plant and Benavidez fight. Since Canelo probably won't fight any, won't want anything to do with ben Benavidez if he comes out victorious against Plant, Bevo can face him. So. Um, that's my opinion at the end. So, I mean, it's on Fight Hub. So, at the end of the day, um, you gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. Uh, you wanna go for undisputed? Better be have been saying the same thing. But if Canelo up some of them zeros, uh, a lot of opinions gonna change. And y'all know it. If Canelo up some of them zeros, a lot of a lot of opinion gonna change. A lot of opinion gonna change. You know, and it could be. It could be. You know. It could be a tactic. It could be a tactic to get more to get more money. It could be a tactic to get more money. Real talk. It could be a tactic to get more money. That's what we could say. It could be a tactic to get more money. You know? But I don't really think Canelo really looking to um uh, I don't think Canelo really looking to uh I don't think he really looking to uh to get in there with people again. And it 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 wasn't it wasn't even like in my opinion, it wasn't even it wasn't even worth it. That's the crazy thing about it. It wasn't even worth him getting in there. Uh, tussling with him, you know what I'm saying. Out of all the people you picked him, it wasn't gonna sell the most tickets. It wasn't a tune up. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what he was thinking about. I don't know what he was thinking about. That was high risk, no reward. That's exactly what it was. It was high risk, no reward. That's exactly what it was. It was it was it was ducking gone wrong. That's exactly what it was. It was ducking gone wrong. That's exactly what it was. It was ducking gone wrong. You know, at the end of the day, can something be different? You hear John Ryder could be fighting Canelo, and he going around here saying that, uh, you know, B will put the blueprint how to beat Canelo. Dude, you don't possess that skill set. I don't know why people is underrating uh, Dimitri Bivol like he's some basic fighter. I don't get that. Like, if he can do it, we all can do it. 
That's what I don't understand. That's what it's coming off to, like people just being nonchalant and like, oh, people did it, man, and we all can do it. No. He controls his distance very well. He got a really, he got power, especially in that left hand. You know what I'm saying? And he got good hand and feet movement, foot movement. So for people going around thinking that, oh, man, people can do it, I can do it, any of us can do it, man, hell no. And for Canelo Alvarez, it's probably work out better for him. But then the question is, you fight John Ryder over in the UK, then who next? Then where you go? It's going to be hard not to get in there with a plan of Benavidez as winner. And it's going to be hard not to get in there with a Charlo or Andre. You know, who else you going to get in there with? You ain't going to go fight better BF. They get murdered. Murder, she wrote. Murder, she wrote. Ain't going to be no Golovkin for a fight. Nobody want to see that bull crap. Only Golovkin fans want to see the third fight. All right. So, I'll continue to say, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly where they're going with this set. I don't. No, no. But it's going to be interesting to see who Canelo Alvarez fight. You know, it's going to be, if, if there's no Beeble, it's going to have to be one of those guys. But then again, you know, they're going to probably keep paying him to fight bums anyway, so it don't matter. No, so it don't even matter. But to me... To me, he, he need a high profile fight after the Ryder fight. And they say already said they wasn't gonna be fighting uh they had no interest in Caleb Plant. They had some interest in Benavidez, and they probably gonna want Benavidez to come over to the zone. And Al Heyman not gonna allow that to happen with or without a network. So, like I said before, it's gonna be interesting to see where Showtime go with it. It's going to be interesting to see where Canelo go with it. But if they offer people enough money, you know what I'm saying? You see Eddie Hearn intentionally trying to block, um, you know, some of the fights that people need with with Joshua Boati, you know, as a, as a mandatory. Like, people want to see that. You know, Eddie Hearn sit here and criticize Al. He criticized Bob and then turn around and do the same thing. He ain't no different at all. Had all that money, allegedly. And they ain't did nothing with it. They ain't did nothing with it. But quite frankly, it's, I mean, for Beevil, you know, it's probably, you know, Boatsy next, whoever the hell, mandatory next. And then, you know, try to make the better BF fight. Now, I, Bob Arum said he ain't going to let no network get in, in the middle of making that fight. Nor should he. It's not like you got Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? Or it's not like you sending Anthony Joshua somewhere. So, understandably so, he shouldn't get in the middle of it. He shouldn't. So, but at the end of the day, we'll see. But Eddie Hearn, you know, and then you hear Oscar De La Hoya say, Eddie Hearn really ain't his promoter. You know what I'm saying? So he, you know, it sound like it sound like Eddie Hearn is doing everything to block this fight. That's what it sound like. Eddie Hearn is doing everything in his power to block this fight. That's what it sound like. And at the end of the day, he gonna try to make a Beeble a massive offer to fight Canelo Wilder, and that's if Canelo won it. 
This might be exactly what the doctor ordered for Canelo Alvarez to avoid Dimitri Bivol. This might be exactly what the doctor ordered. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Limo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out the Box News playlist for more videos like this. Other than that, let me know what you girls and guys think about Bevel trying to go straight to better BF. But I know Eddie Hearn going to try to block that. Mark my words. He's been doing it already. But peace.